mankind has always needed to communicate. Huddling around cave paintings or dancing around a fire, striving to convey what's trapped in our minds. And now, at every week's end, we gather in our modern day caves for Tiger Talk. This event, once the epitome of our human existence, has been altered by a disturbance in the balance. Sending out a beacon, a signal to awaken an elite force who has the power to change the future. You must restore order to the studio, the home of Tiger Talk. You must hear this message. You have the fire to illuminate the path of Tiger Talk's future. You have a higher level of skill than any preceding Tiger Talk team in the annals of history. use your abilities for honor. You must restore Tiger Talk to the revered show it once was. The ruins will rise. The cameras will roll. The music will play. The heart of this beast beats with the messages we call news. We call Tiger Talk. Good morning, Daniel Han. I'm Sandy. And I'm Mike. And, and welcome, welcome to Two Tiger, 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 Tiger Talk. Talk. Now, we apologize for our current setup. Our brand new 2014 set is still in the works. However, that will not stop us from reporting you the news. Just a couple weeks back now, Alice in Wonderland made its Daniel Han stage debut. However, many cast and crew members feel as though all of their hours of hard work go unnoticed. Let's go to Brandon O'Neill to find out more. Open your head! On December 4th, 5th, and 6th, the Hands on Stage Company performed their annual fall play. The play consistently receives great attendance, however, not from the students. The majority of the crowd consists of family and relatives. Ms. Littell thinks that every student should attend every performance at least once. I think that everyone, no matter who you are, everyone should see at least one fall play and one spring musical before they graduate. Mm -hmm. Just to, for the fact to say that, oh, I went to one. If kids were to come, they would be pleasantly surprised. And it's more professional than not. There are up to 100 people involved in each play. There are up to 160 people involved in each musical. That is much larger than any sport and club in the school. They deserve to receive a great amount of recognition. The best way to do this is go out and support their next performance, which is Les Mis, scheduled for mid-April. I don't think that there's enough support. We have some kids, but we would definitely like more. As a student body, we have not done a good job in showing support for our peers involved in these performances. However, it is not too late. There are still plenty of chances to do this. The musical will be performed six different times. So when the next play rolls around, come out and show your support for this non-sport. Reporting from where the magic happens, this is Brandon O'Neill. Wow, Brandon. I cannot wait to see what Daniel Hands on Stage Production Company has next for us. <laughs> Mike. Um, Michael? Mike! Sandy, please! I'm practicing for my dramatic close-up. 
Didn't you hear Les Mis was just announced as the new spring musical? Wow. <sighs> Not now, I dreamed a dream I cannot be. Mike, Mike. <laughs> just a dream. <laughs> Imagine if I actually sang on Homeroom News. <sighs> Holy Toledo, we're late. Sandy! <sighs> Michael, my school just starts so early. Well, actually, some local schools are already planning on starting their day an hour later. You know what? How about, how about we just go to Brandon Miller for the rest of the story? Recently, our friends at Guilford High School have been considering changing their start time to 8.30. Their hope is to give students the ability to get sufficient sleep to improve their physical and mental health during the school day. Nurse Kay feels the same way. Do you think school should start later? There's evidence that it should. Do you think students get enough sleep every night? Absolutely not. Do you think a lack of sleep has a negative effect on the brain and the overall body? Absolutely. I don't think they're able to focus. I don't think they're able to process their bodily functions properly. Studies show a lack of sleep impairs attention, alertness, concentration, and problem solving. Not only does it impact the brain, but many students do not get to enjoy the most important meal of the day. What time do you wake up in the morning? Uh, usually around 6.30. 7.24. 6.40. 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock. What time does it look like I wake up in the morning? Do you have time to eat breakfast? Uh, usually not. No, I don't eat breakfast. I just like to pack a couple pretzels or an apple. No, I don't have time to eat breakfast. we got to wake up so early. Absolutely not. Do you think school should start later? Yes. Absolutely. Definitely. Can yeah. we work towards that? That would be great. It's evident that the people of Daniel Hand need that extra hour of sleep. The real question becomes, would you use it or abuse it? This is Brandon Miller from the nurse's office, tucking in my little buddy. Wow, Brandon, that one sure woke me up. <laughs> well, Daniel Hand, that's all. We'll see you next week. Nice job, Mike. Is the set ready? Hey, guys, you can check it out. Let's do this.